Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan. This is Doris with a D. Hi. In this edition, we're going to talk to you about Mandolin Aegean Bistro, located at 4312 Northeast 2nd Ave in Miami. Welcome back. So, tell us, Chef, how did you find this place? Um... My father and his friend Michael have been going here for, I'd say, a little over a year. Mm -hmm. And my father's been trying to get me to go. I've been trying to set up to go with him. Um, but every time we go, they're either overbooked um, or they have special events. Or, you know, it's, it's always, <laughs> I don't have a, a big availability, so. But you know what? Despite the fact that we arrived after lunchtime <laughs> on a Saturday with the boat show in town. Yep. And the Coconut Grove Art Festival in town also. We were able and no, and no reservation and no reservation. We were able to get seated relatively quickly. Right, I'd say about under ten minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what about uh, parking? Parking, um, parking is um, a little at a premium there because um, more residential. They don't have their own parking lot, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there is plenty of parking around. Right, and and it's also parking. due to the area. Well, right, you have you're right between uh, Wynwood and um, the Design District. I think it's Buena Vista. Right. And um, it's a, you know a lot of walking, a lot of foot traffic in the area. <laughs> Absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely. Um, and what was your first impression in seating? First impression, I liked it a lot, um, especially walking up to the place, because the whole outside is done like like uh, like in Greece. It's a white building, light blue doors and right. windows, chairs, light blue. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As soon as you walk stuff. in the doors. Oh, as soon as you walk in, you you yeah. feel like you're in a Greek village. It's like you transferred there yeah. immediately. Yeah, they really yeah. did it perfect. Yeah. yeah, it's like sight, sound, taste, everything, smells, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. And um, you said we were seated promptly. Mm -hmm. um, what about the menu <laughs> options and variety? Uh, the menu options, there's a, there's a lot of stuff on the menu. It's a um, Greek-Turkish menu. Mm -hmm. um, it's a husband and wife that owned the place, Ahmed and Anastasia. Right. They had the house, it was a house they, they bought from the 1940s. They redid it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's beautiful inside. Well, it's based on that Turkish-Greek um, motif. Motif. Right. And that's how the menu is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's it's very, very varied. And there's a lot of... A lot of uh, Good choices on that menu. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and how original? Very and how much does very it represent original. its identity. Right, it's it's <laughs> it's spot on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The flavors. I mean, the flavors will blow your mind. There's, I mean, every dish mm -hmm. is a completely different flavor. You know, certain different notes that you get out of it. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what about the drinks and service? Um, the drinks and service. Yeah. Drinks, it's a, a beer and wine, and I think they have sangria. A mm -hmm. lot of the beer is uh, local. I think I had a La Rubia, which is from Wynwood itself. Right, right. So it's a lot of like local local beers, wines, mm -hmm. and like I said, sangria. All kinds of sparkling wines also. Yeah. Yeah, different, different prices um, and uh, different uh, goodies. <laughs> and the service is a lot of teamwork. Um, we had our waiter. Yes. And then we had runners, so... Pretty much a lot of people were taking care of us, which is good as a teamwork, and, and you got a lot of good coverage. We need to talk about the food. <clears throat> we need to talk about the food. Yes, yes. Which food do you want to talk about? Let's talk about how the we appetizers and how we ordered this. Okay. Uh, we decided to order a bunch of appetizers because mm -hmm. I wanted to get the palate. Right. You know, um, a lot of places you go to, um, everything tastes the same. <laughs> you know, you order like five appetizers, they all taste the same here. Um, we ordered the Greek sampler. Greek sampler, Greek sampler yeah. Which was was tzatziki. it tzatziki, the olive the and tiroka freri. Okay. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> then we ordered the roasted gar uh, cauliflower. Roasted cauliflower again okay. with the yogurt and the, and the golden um was it the golden raisins? It, it's and, Aleppo peppered garlic yogurt <sighs> and toasted almonds and golden raisins. That was incredible. Uh huh. Um, then we ordered two orders of the mussels mm -hmm. with the uh, was it white wine garlic? Yes. And oregano. My father suggested yes. to get two. And that was a good suggestion because Absolutely for the three of us. Um, and then we had the grilled octopus. Yes, we had the grilled octopus. And the fried and calamar. And we also had the fried calamar. Now, um, the, the calamar had a dip. The oh. almond 
Tarator dip. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. He, it, said, it, he said it stole the show. <laughs> yeah, it stole the show. That dip, that, that's what the calamar is, is out of this world. Mm -hmm. um, but, but every one of these dishes was excellent and a totally different flavor. Tell them about the octopus because I know you, you raved yeah, about it. I love the octopus. It's perfectly <laughs> cooked, cooked right through, tender. Um, the grill marks. Oh, the grill marks. Had huh? The grill marks wasn't burnt. You know, you had your grill marks that wasn't burnt. Right, and it was moist. And it was, right, it was it was tender and moist. It wasn't dried out. A lot of times mm -hmm. you go someplace and they, they grill it to, you know, they, they incinerate it. This was yeah. perfect. I mean, I was worried because I saw that they weren't really like thick, thick pieces. So I was like, uh-oh. Right. It was so but, tasty. But, oh, yeah, per <laughs> perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned, great flavor. Mm -hmm. um, as, as with everything on this menu, I mean, the calamar, like butter. I mean, you, 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 you break it with a fork. Yes. Um, yes. Everything was delicious. And, and the, uh, the What about mussels, the portion size? Well, the mussels, I would tell you about the mussels. Somebody wanted to drink the, uh, the sauce that, was, that came in. Um, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to drink it like it was a cup of soup. Yeah. They, they just really delicious. Uh, portion sizes, you said? Portion mm -hmm. sizes. Yeah. Portion very sizes. ample portion sizes. I want to say uh, we took a lot of food home with us. Yes, we did. Um, and we ate a lot of food there, and too. And we ate a lot of food, too. And they make their own bread. They make their own bread daily. Yes. Right. She said they make yes. it daily. Mm -hmm. And they asked us if we wanted to bring more bread, and we did. Yeah. yeah it was absolutely And then we had desserts. Amazing. Yes. We had, had a pistachio desserts. baklava and yes. a fig tart, tart with vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Which one was better? Well, you know what? I can't decide because fig is my all-time favorite fruit. And fresh fig, even more so. Mm -hmm. um, but the pistachio baklava oh, was a pleasant delicious. surprise. Yeah. I've never had yeah. it with, with pistachio. Yeah. Uh, I've always had the, the regular, you know, classic baklava. So, yeah. I think both awesome. both both were delicious. I would go back for them <clears throat> in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing we can't just snap our fingers and go because I would be there already. <laughs> <laughs> but um you you uh, took a liking to uh a certain wardrobe they had there. Yeah. I liked the aprons. <laughs> the servers had these really cool denim aprons that were so stylish and practical. Yeah. And I thought they were awesome. Yeah, it looked like it actually didn't look like they were wearing a uniform. It looked like part of like like clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looked really good. And they, and they looked very relaxed, yet at the same time very official, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and professional. So go figure. Yeah. I mean, the the service there was just so impeccable. It right. really was. Uh, we had a, an excellent time. And um, do you have any recommendations? Um, yeah. My my recommendation would be. Um, I really would stick to like, if you have a group of people, I would get a bunch of appetizers. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of all the flavors. Um, yeah, and they have <clears throat> a, a nice list of appetizers. You just go right, right. through and, and, I mean, and this, pick and choose. For this sure. is a place where you see a lot of people um, talking at the tables, having conversations. And I think the appetizers are more geared to that. Whereas if you have a, a dinner, you're pretty much face down having dinner. This is a, yeah. a much more laid back. Um, Sharing family style. Yeah, yeah. I, the appetizers, we, I like that idea because we, mm -hmm. we got a little taste of everything. And, then, and, and that's what I think you should do the first time there at least. Mm -hmm. Get a taste of everything. Um, the other thing is this place for me was very reminiscent of Dada in Delray, being that it's an old refurbished house. Oh, yeah. Except yeah. this one you, you pointed out, this one had a, more of like a... Uh, a small boutique inside? Yes, inside the house. Right. They, they had it set up where, um, you know, like if you, if you wanted to send souvenirs or uh, if you wanted to buy some um, kitchen things. Could you buy the aprons all, there? You know what? I didn't ask. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't ask. This is going to be continued. But, yeah, because <clears throat> I really, really like the apron. I could see <clears throat> me hanging out in that apron. I really could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what about your recommendations? Yeah, like I said, I, w I would get a little bit of everything. I, okay. I do the appetizers right through. And what about the average cost per meal? Average, it, it falls in line with the area. Remember, you're right between Wynwood and the design district. Yeah. So if it, it falls right in line with everything. Mm -hmm. And I think, like I said, I think they have a lot of foot traffic. So. It, and if you, you, you really like your sangria, <clears throat> that's a place to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely excellent. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So get up, go there. As always, enjoy, and I'll see you there.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Like, share, subscribe, check us out, SoFloDining.com. Um, hashtag SoFloDining. <laughs> You'll find us. We're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye.